Good evening. Tonight, we are going to play one of my all-time favorite games. In fact, I love it so much that I borrowed it from my cousin and never gave it back. But they still have my copy of Mario Golf for Game Boy Color and Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. So I don't know if those two equal this game we're going to play, but uh, anyway, he's, he's welcome to have this game back as soon as I'm finished recording this. So let's get started. This is a first party Nintendo title for the Super Nintendo. Looks like there's some people having a rest. This is the third Metroid game following Metroid for the Nintendo and Metroid 2 for Game Boy, which are much more primitive games than this. Metroid 2 isn't bad, but Metroid 1 is... Metroid 1 is really, really primitive. You couldn't even... I mean, it's taken really seriously, and it's I guess it's acknowledged to be a pretty good game, but if you've played Super Metroid first, I think it's kind of hard to... hard to go back to... Hard to go back to... So that was like a little shot of gameplay there, but I don't I don't want to show too much because you know spoilers. So let's get started. Okay, so I still have a save game there, and that was the ultimate save from my test run. So we got that copied, and we can clear. And uh, you know the battery, I guess is. Holding up okay. I mean, it's it still it still works for the length of time that you need to put together a recording, so that's no problem. Okay, so this is actually the same game in both regions, uh, in in North America and in Japan. So you can switch on Japanese text, and it'll just add that kind of as flavor. Mario Paint is like that too. It's the same game in both regions. Anyway, I'm gonna go fiddle with the controls. I like to play, I kind of like to play every game like I play Mario. So I pick <laughs> shot Y like it's fireballs and jump B like, you know, I'm trying to stomp on a Goomba. Um, but uh, for dash, yeah, I pick X. And, you know, I mean, like in Mario games, you can shoot and run with the same button, but not here. Uh, item select, yeah, select is fine for that. Item cancel A. Some people would like to mix, some people do like to mix that up. Uh, angle up or angle down L. Just, just remember that they're there. There's a couple of moves where you need them. And uh, yeah, let's end. Okay, and special settings, icon cancel. I like automatic, so you just go through the door and like it'll it'll shut off what you ever you had selected. I mean, there's the odd time when you don't want it to cancel your special weapon or item when you go through a door, but eh, I just leave it on auto. And moonwalk, uh, this is kind of interesting. You can um, you can walk backwards while you know shooting forwards if you know what I'm saying so yeah I'll, sh I'll show it to you and it's actually all the speedrunners use it because there's a technique called moonfall but uh, and I'm, I'm not getting into that this is strictly an intended stat intended strats playthrough uh, you know I, 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 I like this game but you know uh, I'm not uh, I, I don't I don't live and breathe this game <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's see, and and now we'll put on Japanese text because otherwise you're in these menus and you don't know what's what. Oh crap! Did I just okay, now I gotta now I gotta flip back to English and be like, what did I do here? Okay, shot me up. <laughs> now it's all messed up. Okay, sloppy jump a dash x. Okay, and all right, I had Japanese text. So that's why you said Japanese text later. Okay, and. Start game. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace.
do you pronounce it? Zebus or Zebus or Zebes? Vote now in the comments section. So this is now, so the previous slide was the, was the story of Metroid 1, and then this is the story of Metroid 2. Now that's not the actual Game Boy graphics. Neither was the first slide to the actual Nintendo graphics. So. In case you were wondering. So now we're into Super Metroid proper. Delivers the Metroid to some scientists. And this is the last Metroid. So better take good care of it. But I mean, they were worried that they were going to wipe out the galaxy, so... <laughs> But it could be used for good. Lots of scientists standing around, nice lab coats. All is well. I'm sure they'll, they'll have no trouble defending themselves. Uh oh. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we'll turn around and see what we can do here. Space Colony. Okay, so we're in for some actual gameplay. I'm going to hold that X button that I assigned to Dash and see if I can go find those scientists. Oh, this looks familiar. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Ah, I think I'm too late. Okay, well let's see, um, let's see if the Metroid's alright. All right, let's let's get out of here. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Let's go. Let's get. Hey, hey. Oh, here's Moonwalk. You hold hold down the button. You have to you have to hold down the shop button to do it. Okay, so basically, this is a bad guy. And I don't like bad guys. So we're going to try to get rid of this bad guy and get that Metroid back. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, that's another problem. So that, if you didn't guess, that was a scripted fight. You can't win. Uh, the fight is over either when you get fairly low on energy, kind of around where I am, or you, you, hit, you land 100 shots and you'll fly away. That's that's quite a lot of shots to land. Anyway, the speedrunners they they just try to get their health down as quickly as possible. But we are not speedrunning this game. We're just gonna have fun. Although, truth be told, some speedrunning stats are really kind of cool. I'll I'll try to show off one or two. And the and the only reason I know what little I know is because of Super Metroid Randomizer, which is like this game except all the items are in different places. And so you have to 
you have to use a lot of things that you'd never you never have to do in the in the normal game. But that's a that's a video for another day. All right. So really, this is just sort of, there's only really one place you can go, right at the very beginning. The blue doors you can unlock with just your regular beam. The red doors require missiles. We don't have missiles yet, but we will get some. Spoiler alert. So now we're in a whole different area. Usually the elevators are what mark the transition between different areas. You can see now we're in a place called Brinstar. And the other area we were just in was called Criteria. The Morphine Ball, which may be the most important item in the game. Oh, I think somebody saw me. If I get away quickly, maybe it won't count. There we go. You never saw me. I was never here. So yeah, basically just down twice. And you can roll through things. Well, I mean, provided there's a hole to roll through. Okay, so here was the missile that we spoiled earlier. I'm trying to keep this a pure experience for you guys. Okay, so let's open up this door. Push select, bam, 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 five missiles, you open the door. Ah, oh, not again. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that there is a hidden item up here, but you have to be a special kind of person to pull off that wall jump and get up there. Uh, it's called a task... They, they call it the task tank because you usually have to be in a tool-assisted speedrun to do it. But there is this... Oh, there is this guy, and gosh, I forget his name. He runs RBO. I think he's reverse boss order. I think he's got, like, the world record or something. He, he'll, he'll actually get the tank, which is pretty cool. Oh, uh, hello. So yeah, we've got uh, we've got company now. The planet has awakened, and we are now in back in Criteria, and this is the old where the old mother brain was. And this is the climb. And there's a number of ways to do it. You can do like ledge grabbing which is hard, or you can do wall jumping, which is also hard. I'm going to do neither. I'm just going to jump up the intended way. As best I can. Maybe I'm a little too worried about getting hit, I don't know. I'd probably go faster if I wasn't, like, stopping to hit them and getting refills. So what's on my list? Missiles. Okay, map data is next on my list. Oh, spoiler. But I love these rooms. I like my favorite rooms in the game. I'm well, I'm just kidding, but I do like them. I do like me some map data. And you can just see how huge this world is. Now that was just the map data for Criteria. Grinstar will have its own map data station, and so will any other areas that we may go to, like
like this red wrecked ship and Meridia. Ooh, the possibilities. Okay, now that S, that means save. So we can go in here, save our game. And then if I press pause again, you'll see the last place you saved has a sort of a black S, black and yellow S. Uh-huh, you know what it is. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. All right, now the next place to go is in here. Oh yes, and we'll be able to get the best ending fairly easily. Uh, I used to, I, I used to try to like play this game by like taking shortcuts by skipping items, but it, it makes the game a lot harder for yourself. Just get all the items. It's really, it's really not hard to get all the items and get the best ending, which is under three hours in game time. So that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, this uh, this guy is not a good guy. He's a bad guy. We don't like bad guys. Taking it on the nose a bit here. Okay, we got it. Okay, I got health bombed, so my health was so low that he didn't drop any missiles. So that's not great. If I were like if I were speed running, this would this would be terrible. Because now here I am stopping and getting getting more missiles. But you know. There we go, it's enough to... In fact, I can even pick up some more missiles. But should I? Right. So now, that bomb that we got... Well, bombs. We have an infinite supply of bombs. Which is very, very useful. So that might be... That might be like the second most important item in the game, getting the bombs. So now we can bomb through here. Uh, okay, no, I do have it in my list to get these missiles. Okay, so let's do that. So there's more missiles down here. Now these are these can be really left to the very end of the game for like maximum routing efficiency, but you're intended to get them now. Also, if you don't get them now, you're quite likely to forget them. Because they'll be, you know, fiddly bank of missiles will be the last thing in your mind. But right now, I could really use the missiles, so it makes more sense for me to get them now. Okay, I could have done something there, but I won't. I'll wait until the game shows it to you with an effort. And this area is called Terminator. that door now, but we'll do it later when we have more ammo. Well, you know what, though? Yeah, I do have it on my list. Okay, let's do it. It's like, you know, when's the other good time to do it? And so this... There's a special room 
It's a gateway to a special place. But you see that, you remember that guy from the space colony. So you gotta defeat these four guys in order to get further into this room. So that's all I wanted to show you. Okay, back to what we're doing. Now these guys, uh, you really don't want to shoot them, because then the little critters start coming out, and I suppose if you stand back here it's not so bad. Got a nice little pickup there. But don't, uh, don't shoot them unintentionally. If you're going to shoot them, mean it. Okay, so this is still Brinstar, but the area we were in earlier was blue Brinstar, and this is green Brinstar. Oh, so many doors to open. What should we do first? I have here... Save is first on my list. Okay, so let's do that. I just happen to know there's a save here. Oh no, I had that backwards. I had, um... Something else I want to go. Well, it doesn't really matter. Okay. This one. Okay, now, don't forget to kill that guy on the way out, because we need to open the door. It's one of those doors, and you'll you'll see them in lots of places, that's a, a gray door, and it only lets you open it when you kill all the enemies in an area. There's also gray, da gray doors that require you to kill the area boss, which is a whole different thing. Oh, looks like there's a, a gray friend down in the lower right there, and a place called Norfair. I wonder if they have, like, Ferris wheels and stuff. So lots of, lots of places to explore. Okay, make sure you kill this guy. And there we go, so... To kill all the enemies in the room to open the door. door, and save. Okay, so now I'm going to demo something that I would be super remiss if I didn't show you. So we're going to do it, and it's called Mock Ball. And what we're going to do is get through this room faster than intended, and it'll, it'll skip, you'll, um, it's kind of a sequence break, because you get an item sooner than you're supposed to. And we're not actually going to do this for real, I'm just, I, the reason I saved is so I can reset or die or something, but I'll show you. So you hold down dash, and then you run through this door, and just as you're sort of going through the door, you... You do like a, you do a jump. Okay, let's see if I got it. Now you're holding down B, and ah, okay, I just messed it up at the end there. It's kind of tricky. You need to morph into a ball just as you hit the ground, and see that's why the that's why you need to be fast. So those things come down. So let's try this again. Ah, uh, a little too early, a little too early. If you're bouncing, you're too early. Okay, am 
might not have jumped in time. Did not jump in time. Oh, I almost had it. Anyway, you definitely need to know this to play a randomizer. I'm not saying you have to get it every time, you just have to be able to do it. Only for like, if you're racing or <laughs> running, you need to get better. Okay, come on. Let's get this. Yes! All right, Just, did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, anyway, um, but I'm just gonna die now because I don't wanna be here yet. It's too soon. Uh, can I even die here? Uh, look away for a second. Uh, da, da, da. You didn't see that. Okay, yeah, I can just die up here. Taking a while. I guess I got a lot of energy. Special ending! Samus is a girl. Okay, so return to the game. I mean, that was like the big thing of the NES was that Sam Samus was a woman. Uh, but you had to you had to get the best ending in the NES version to even know that, and then here in Super Metroid they just give it away for free. <laughs> you, you, you die. I mean it's a cool effect. I do I do like I do like the effect. But uh, anyway, spoilers. Uh, all right, so uh, we're going to hit A to start where we left off. And so this time I'm just going to take the. I'm just going to take the five missiles we're supposed to be able to get, and uh, we'll mosey on. I still don't want to do the thing that you didn't see earlier. Those missiles are in the can. And the next area is this spot. Now these guys shoot them. The room gets darker. They come back if you leave the room and come back, so it's no big deal. Missile reload. So it shows up as a nice little red kind of thing. Oh no, it's just a missile. It's not really a letter M. Map data is letter M. It's kind of nice how the map data has its own special icon in the map. And which you only get if you get the map data. As you, I guess just remember where you got the map data. Because I mean, you, you only need to go in that room once, and arguably you don't need to go in that room at all. I mean, if you know where you're going. Okay, we got some bombs to lay here. Stuff over there, but uh, we'll deal with it later when we're better equipped. Yellow doors require yet another special item to unlock. And there's some more missiles. First beam upgrade, the charge beam. 
Now it's almost kind of like a, an accessory rather than a beam on its own. So like I still have the same shot I had before, but now I can charge. There's lots of interesting stuff you can do with it, so it's a very, very handy beam. And you can manage your beams in the menu, which I will be, I will definitely be showing you later. We're definitely gonna have reason to go into that menu. So I believe we are fully loaded. 25 missiles, uh, 199 energy, I guess. I was saying. So, uh, let's just mosey over here. Save. I would, I would save here. Not in a race, but I'm gonna save here tonight. These guys are pretty... These guys are pretty rough. Yes, you do, you do need to kill them. Get one missile will do it. Yeah, all of them? That's three. Okay, I want to grab all the missiles and crap that I can here from these little guys. But also not get hit by this guy. Funny how that works. Hold on. Got a couple in. I'm in better shape than I was when I entered the room, he says, as he gets hit. Just got one. Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, don't forget to hit A for item cancel when all you want is your beam. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna set up shop in the corner here. I can't reload as faster, but I should be in better position to inflict damage. So a lot of runs will skip this boss because of the sequence break that I showed you earlier. Be ready. I should be counting. There we go. I wonder if I should call this video series the Scrub, scrub strats for Super Metroid. And we did all that for... Super Missiles! Da-da-da-da-da-da! faster and more powerful than your original missiles. They're also much rarer. There's only 50 in the game. And you have to use them to open green doors like that. Notice it even bounced the enemies off the wall. And this is not a bombable block. It's a super missile block. So we'll blow it up with that. Keep on trucking. And this area is called the Green Hill Zone 
after Sonic the Hedgehog. And there was a missile in that room that you could you could get now, uh, but uh, if you if you needed advanced techniques, which you're which you haven't been showing yet, so don't worry about it. We'll get it later. And there's up. Can't get up. Well, you know, you can, but again, advanced, adva super advanced techniques in that case. The way to go is down. Let's just stop by for the Sloter's refill. And the area we just came down was called Red Tower, for obvious reasons. And look at this. We are technically in Meridia, a whole different area. Not a heck of a lot you can do, but it's kind of neat. Alright, so you can sort of go that way, but as I'll show you... It's hard! Oh, it's up so high! Yeah, so, um... And I mean, for... For advanced players, it's pretty trivial to get in there anyway, but uh, we'll do it the intended way. So we're gonna go to Norfair, which is Carnival Land. So... I'm gonna go all the way... Oh, okay, I guess I could open this door first, just for the heck of it. It's hot in here! Yes, Norfair is the lava, volcano, you know, deep hot depths kind of area. You can open those red doors with a super. Get another E-tank. Here we find the high jump boots. Hi, jump boots. I can jump high with you. As you can see. Okay, now we're gonna just roast this guy. Because that was one of those gray doors when we came in. So now getting around is a lot easier. The uh, high jump boots are probably like the number number one or I don't know maybe number two quality of life quality of life item in the game. There are sometimes things in certain circumstances that I I like having more than high jump, but uh, you almost always would rather have it than not. And even when you, when it, when you're in certain situations in tight quarters where you want a shorter jump, you can just turn it off. We'll be showing you that in the menu. Okay, so remember this block. I can get up here now. Shoot that one. Oh, good thing I have a super left or two. 
supers. Yeah, don't don't use all your supers. Always always keep some in reserve. I mean, unless you're fighting a boss or something and you get a reload anyway, but Yay! So now we got a better beam. So the spacer is our first actual other real beam. And the spacer also charges. Oh, for crying out loud. I did that just to show that off. Getting up here, much easier. Got another gray door, but this time you have to complete another objective before that door opens. And there's a save over there if you want to take it. I don't feel like it. And that boss was called Mini Crate. Yes, he was a boss. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. If you like, you can go up here and you can get uh, both your missiles and your energy refilled. I don't need either. Unfortunately, there's no super missile reload in this game, unless you count visiting your ship. Visiting your ship, you reload everything, which is handy. You can do one super like I did, or three regular missiles for those eye doors. Oh, I wonder what that gray suit was doing there. I guess somebody took it off and, like, you know, went, went in the hot tub. Hey, buddy. Have you got a hot tub? I wonder if Kraid's a male or female. I wonder if Scamus would be, you know, squicked out by this large, intimidating male. Okay, I should actually... Thing. So you want to like sort of hit him in the eye with like a beam or something, and, a, 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 and that will get his mouth to open. Occasionally his mouth will just open anyway, but the, the eyes are a good way to do it. Boy, I hope I don't regret not saving. Oh, beauty. And runners will do something called a qu create quick kill, where they'll just, they'll, they'll actually just roast him and he won't even stand up. And then they call, when he stands up, they call it downloadable content. Various suit. This may be, you know, remember I said, like this, I don't know if you count this as a quality of life item, but uh, it is, it is super essential. So we got various suits, Morphin Ball Bomb, High Jump Boots, Charge, Spacer. We're starting to get equipped here. So I'm just wondering where I should wrap it up for the night. I wouldn't want to record this entire game and be like, Oh no! Sound wasn't on. Commentary wasn't on. Oh no! That would be terrible. So, almost in order just to minimize my losses, I will probably be saving soon. But let's go in here and get our 
Oh, you gotta blow these guys up. Get a new tank. I think exploring Norfair is best left for another episode. We'll just get ourselves lined up to get ready to do it. We're gonna find that Metroid Lara. So now you can see the biggest thing about having the various suit is you don't get heat damage. So that's very good. And we're just gonna save. And just one final note, if you're playing randomizer, they kinda changed it up a bit so that only the various suit gives you protection from heat damage. But anyway. So, I think that will be all for this evening. We'll see you around some other evening for part two of Let's Play Super Metroid again!